Good morning, gamers! Today we're gonna play Clarence Goes to the Fucking Store. I do like Clarence, uh, but I think this is about a different one. I think this might be about a different Clarence. Anyways, we shall find out very, very soon. Uh, we're not gonna skip the intro. As I rise from bed, wiping the sleep from my eyes, I am consumed by a single, urgent, life-or-death notion. Milk. Holy fuck, I want some milk. The succulent source of bovine nutrition, the sloshy white goodness that coats the throat and fulfills the soul. There is no time. It must be now. I rush to the kitchen, throwing open the fridge with a merciless thwack. Milk. Milk. Milk? No. No, no. No, 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 no. It should be right here. Everything else is in place. Pickles, ham, mayonnaise, and may figurine in jar. But no milk. It can't be. But it must. I'm... Out of milk! I collapse to the floor, my mind in a haze. Are these... tears? It's okay. It's fine. I just drive to Wally Mart. I can be there in... Shit. My car's still thrashed from that... incident. That poor bus full of orphans. Wait. That new store opened today, just a few blocks from here. Connie's Ultimate Mart. They're supposed to have everything. And everything includes milk. There's hope. I can make it. Just a short walk from my house and I'll be there. I scramble to the front door and open it with a fresh spring morning. The sun is bright. A warm wind blows. And I know everything will be okay. I'm sure nothing at all will slow me down. It's time to go to the fucking store. I set off down the road. A shady figure approaches from the side of the road. Take this, tell no one, say nothing. He thrusts a small object into my hands. It looks like a small plastic cat. It's so ugly that it's almost cute. You never saw me. Wait. I think we should take the cat. What's the worst that could happen? Uh, thanks? Don't thank me. I've killed you. Okay then, moving on. Oh. My. God. Most people just call me Clarence, but I guess that's fine too. That's the sacred idol of Neko! She gestures and nods towards the plastic cat. The... what? The sacred idol of Neko! His Majesty's final fury contained within an ancient relic. The catalyst of his rebirth into this world, whereupon he will take his rightful place as a ruler! Ah. Yeah, no, I think that's just some plastic cheap crap that Maurice dumped on me. You must be confused. Please! Grant me the opportunity to be its bearer. The chance is worth any cost. I'll give you... My firstborn! Wow. Okay, really didn't think things were gonna get weirder than that quickly. Please trade with me! Trade plastic cat for Hannah's firstborn. That sounds like a great trade opportunity. Sure I will. You know, that seems perfectly reasonable. Give me the brat. Praise Neko! Praise Neko! I've been chosen! She plops the child at my side before hoisting the plastic cat in the air and running off down the road, screaming like a madwoman. Bah! You know, kid, I was just thinking the same thing. 
Anyways, let's keep moving. Oh, what a sweet little child you have there. What? Uh, oh yeah, forgot about that already. What's their name? Their what? Uh, damn, that's a solid question. Uh, well, kid, what is it? Bat. That's on me. I should have expected that. Oh, how darling. Say, why don't I take them off your hands? You people really be out here swapping kids in the streets, huh? I'm becoming a kindergarten teacher, and I need as many kids as I can to fill up my class. I'd be happy to trade you my favorite heroin needle for them. Your favorite fucking what now? Trade Hannah's firstborn for a used heroin needle. I feel like we could really use a used heroin needle right now. I think this is a good idea. Okay, sure. I guess it's just that kind of day today. Aw, oh, thank you so much. I'm sure this little one will make an excellent addition to my class. I pull the child over to Miss Grizzwheeler. They give me a long look as they let go of my hand. Bah! Batu too, little shit. As promised, here you go. She hands me a rusty needle. I try to make sure it gets used at least twice a day. Can you keep that up for me, dear? Honestly, depends on how the rest of today goes. So long. You there, citizen. Give me that needle. Fuck off, crab. Get your own used heroin needle. I am a lobster. That is hurtful. And I am currently trying to get my own used heroin needle. From you. Well, you know how this works. It's literally programmed to the game. Offer me something and maybe I'll let you have my super important possession. A fair point. I have opioids. I will give you opioids. All the rage. Yes. Trade use heroin needle for opioids. Why not? Of course. See, that wasn't so hard. And you've got yourself a deal. Excellent. This rusty needle will be good for injections. To save lives. Not kill. Yes. Hmm, yeah. Enjoy your opioids responsibly. Alternatively, enjoy them irresponsibly. I do not care. Well, I appreciate you being frank, if nothing else. I am not frank. Please refrain from calling me frank. Noted. Toodles, Frank. I dislike you. Fair point. Hey there, hold up a second. Are those drugs? Now, I take offense to that. I'm a fine, upstanding citizen, and I would never carry around drugs in public. Nor would I hand it out to scary men with knives. Come on, man. I can see the big bottle labeled opioids and crayon. Fuck that stupid crab. See, I took this career aptitude test, and it said I was supposed to be a criminal. Those aptitude tests are getting scarily accurate. Thing is, I'm not too good at the whole shaking people down thing. At least you are aware of how terribly this is going. Shattered tentacles, talking to the big guy. But then I was thinking, there's different kinds of criminals, ain't there? A marvelous revelation, I'm sure. Yeah, uh, anyways, if I ain't meant to be a thief, maybe I should be an addict. Take a new aptitude test. I'll even give you this gun I've been saving for a bigger crime if you give me your opioids. Help a guy out. You know what? We do need a gun. We do need a gun, because you never know. You really never know. You know what, Keith? Just for you, 
I'll do it. Oh, thanks, man. You're a real lifesaver. I somehow feel that my own life was never in danger. This is gonna be so great. I ain't gonna hurt nobody. All I gotta do is pop pills. What's an opioid anyways? Is that like ibuprofen? Oh, boy. Anyways, I'm off to start a new life of substance abuse. Thanks again, Clarence. You're the best. Congratulations. You've turned a harmless criminal into a clueless addict. I'm not sure which is worse, but I also don't care. And I've got places to be. See? It's not about what I get in return. It's about what I give. I'm such a good person. Excuse me! Whoa, big rat gave me a heart attack. That's cool. Sorry, sorry. It's just, I happen to know this. Well, is that a gun? Yes, it is. Please give it to me. Okay, again with the yelling. Nice. I really, really need to borrow it just for a teensy second. It would mean a lot to me. I'll even give you my favorite self-help book. You seem like a nice guy. Won't you help me out? Please? Trade gun for self-help book. I feel like it's not the best idea to give this person a gun. She doesn't feel like it. She doesn't feel like it today. Something tells me that giving you this gun would be profoundly unwise. Ah, oh, that's what everybody else says. That's okay. I'll come up with something else. Something else for her, anyways. Sorry, sir. Could you spare a second to help me out, please? I might as well. I'm apparently talking to everyone with a pulse with me here in the store. Hey, wait a minute. I think I recognize you. You're Geraldine Gerbil, the mascot for Wang Diddly World. That's me. Or at least, it was. Wah! Oh shit, did you get sacked? They told me if I showed up to work drunk and cried on the customers one more time, then I'd be a goner. Okay, so just like, don't do that? But I gotta! If Geraldine can't have her jiving juice, she might as well be dead! Only a tacky mascot would ever call alcohol fucking jiving juice. All I have to do is go back to work, is get a note from a doctor saying that I'm receiving therapy for my issues. I'm not a doctor, but I know a lobster you may love. I don't have time. Work starts in ten minutes. Can you please just pretend to be a doctor and sign this form? Don't see the harm. I really don't see the harm. Okay, hand me the form. Thank you so much. I can finally get back to work. I scribble and loops the signature at the bottom of the form. Think that'll work? If it doesn't, I can always just jump in the crocodile tank. Ah, so that's plan B. I should have just enough time to make it to the liquor store before the park opens. Thanks again, friend. I somehow feel like I've done something terribly wrong. Oh well, push it down, move along. I don't think I've actually seen you around before. What's your name? Oh god, here we go again. What's the issue? You got a stupid name? Mine's fucking Clarence, so you really don't have to worry. My name is... Days. Please don't do it. You know what? Not gonna do it. Not in the year of our Lord 2024, I'm not. I would never stoop to such juvenile humor. It's a pleasure to meet you, Dees. Well, thanks, man. It's great to meet a mature adult for once. You've made my whole week, dude. Seriously, I'm gonna go tell my brother Sogma all about this. Oh, thank fuck I couldn't hold it in much longer. Poor guy. Heh, <laughs> these nuts got him. Look, Chief, I can use a favor here. Nothing crazy. It'll be fun. I seriously doubt that. Let's hear it anyways. Rad. So I stole this giant yogurt from the giant yogurt factory. 
I'm just gonna let the giant yogurt factory thing slide. Too much weird shit already today. This is good shit, but they're onto me. Cops will be here any minute, so I gotta eat now. Won't be able to finish it on my own. What do I say? Help a girl out? Why not? Yogurt's always nice, I think. What the hell? I like yogurt. Who doesn't? Now dig in. Quick. Oh fuck, I'm gonna pop. Weak. I ate twice as much as you did. Hey, I didn't realize I was making a deal with some kind of yogurt demon, but you're right. That was good shit. Right? Next time I hit that factory, I'll look you up. Cops will be here soon. I gotta scram. Thanks for the help, Chief. Yogurt is a milk product. Do I still need to go to the store? Absolutely. Milk can never be replaced. Those kids are gonna eat me! Uh, come again? I'm a delicious edible treat and those are hungry children. Isn't this complicated? If they catch up to me, I'm a goner! Please, you've gotta hide me somewhere. I'll owe you big! Uh, sure. Sure. Okay, there really aren't many places to hide around here, but I think I've got an idea. Oh, thank God, I'm saved! Yeah, I mean, probably. So you're pretty light, aren't you? I have a sugary fluff in a paper cone! Cool, should work then. I pick up cotton by the cone. Whoa, I'm elevated now, not a fan. Put me down, please. Don't worry, I'm hiding you, you'll be fine. Yeet? Yeet? Yeet! I chuck cotton halfway across the city. Damn good throw. Maybe I should have done sports. Not much farther now. I can almost taste that sweet, sweet milk. Is there something you want me to help you with? Because that's been happening to me way too much today. Nope, not a thing. Just let it stop me for a second to say hi. So, hey there, pal. Everyone just needs a howdy every once in a while, don't you think? Ha. Ah. Hard choice. I'm feeling generous today. Wow, I really appreciate that, man. You would not believe the day I've had. Had a rough one? We all know what that's like. Take some time, enjoy the scenery. I'm sure the rest of your day will be just great. Thanks, guy. Appreciate you talking with me. I'm on my way to the store now, but maybe I'll catch you later. Well, that will be just swell. Enjoy the rest of your day. I guess not everything is terrible after all. Finally! Connie's Ultimate Mart! I thought I'd never get here! Uh oh, get it, get it guys? It's Come? The store name is Come? Holy shit. I've headed up to here with the lobster doctors and alcoholic gerbils and whatever the fuck else happened today. I just want to go in, get my milk, glug the whole gallon in the parking lot, and have a normal trip home. Oh, so much to choose from! 1%, 2%, whole, skim, chocolate. Maybe I should buy one of each. I've earned it. I can treat myself. Yeah, I think I'll... Oh, fuck, it's the milk moose. The fucking what? The milk moose, the vicious beast that stalked the land in search of dairy delicacies. Everybody run for your lives. They're overtaking the cooler section. It won't be long until... Maurice is crushed like a soft biscuit under the milk moose's hooves. The giant bubble-horned creatures trample everything in their path, tripping over shelves and smashing carts with their powerful legs. They stampede past me, reaching the jugs of milk and gluttonously gulping down each and every one of them. In a flash, they devour all of the milk. You've gotta be fucking kidding me. 
I make it through all of the bullshit thrown at me on the way here, only to have everything taken away from me by Milk Moose. This is the biggest load of horse shit I've ever seen. I'm gonna... I'm gonna... This store is everything, right? Uh, I'm okay by the way, thanks for asking. I didn't ask that, I don't care. What I asked was, the store has everything, right? I mean, yeah, pretty much. I've worked here, so if you're looking for something, I can get it. Good. I'd like to purchase one big fuck-off gun and a plane ticket to Canada, please. Uh, we can do that, I guess. That'll be in the transportation weaponry section, but like... Why? Because the title of the next game is going to be Clarence Poots Moose on the fucking endangered species list. You really don't gotta. Oh, I do gotta, Maurice. I really, really do. See? I lost something today. Something precious. I bend down and pick up the remains of a milk jug. There is still a trickle of white liquid sloshing around inside. And when we lose something, we have to avenge it. Oh fuck, they're coming back for the drop of milk! What? It's just a tiny bit, not even enough to drink! Why would they possibly be coming back for that? Get the fuck out of here, Clarence! You've got to move right now! Ouch. Well, I suppose that was the game. Guess we'll be waiting for the next one with, uh, with the moose being put on the endangered list. Good night, everyone.